Okay. Take four. This is like take six. This is like take six or seven. I don't know what it is. I can't get it out. Um, what's up, everybody? This is uh, my quick guide on how to explore 100% or initially clear uh, variant four. It's just some of the stuff that I found that, that could potentially be a little bit of a roadblock for you uh, or just you know cause you a little bit of a headache, maybe spend some uh, revives on it. But uh, yeah, I think this variant is fairly straightforward. It's really easy, it's, it's fun, um, it's short, and I would put it somewhere around the difficulty of becoming Cavalier. Um, you definitely need a uh, wide range of roster from all your uh, rarities. Definitely make sure you have your one stars ranked up, your two stars ranked up. Um, be selective with your three stars. You can have, if you have some maxed out three stars, you should be fine. A handful of, of characters that can deal with pretty much anything. Um, same thing with four stars. If you've been playing this game for a while, you, you should be all set. Even 440s in the four star range should be fine. Um, the biggest roadblock for new newcomers are, are going to be having enough five star champions to deal with a couple of things. So, let's dive right into it. Um, chapter one, the Electro chapter let me uh get my requirements here colossus is good enough and good enough um <clears throat> this uh this is pretty straightforward this chapter is really straightforward i went in blind for my first initial clear of variant um if you're watching this if you haven't done it yet you are not and that's good because there's a few things you need to plan for fortunately here it's very straightforward of a chapter my initial clear, I took this left lane uh, strike back. Um, there's no global node, nothing other than the local node. All the local nodes are the same, so they'll all be strike back. Um, just regular defenders. And uh, like I said, I'm under the assumption that you have done Act 5. You're in a fairly high tier alliance. Um, you're doing at least Map 5 or Map 4 Alliance quests every week. You're able to do the monthly event quest on uncollected difficulty, no problem. So none of these nodes are new to you. None of these defenders are new to you. Um, that's my assumption. So which lane you choose, it doesn't really matter. They're all, um, this is Rage, so a Nullified Champion would be great. Um, this is all or nothing, so someone with taunt or power control, you're good. No global node. All three of these lanes are straightforward. Then we come to Electro. Um, he has this node crackling energy. Whenever you make a contact hit against him, you get a some sort of passive degen damage. Um, I used Blade. I still took damage, but I, I, I revived a couple of times and got him down. His health pool is somewhere around 200, so 200,000, so it's not much, it's not much. I, most of the time, I've by the time I got to him, I had a pretty much a full team up, so I was able to just go through all my teammates and get him down. Not a big deal. I've seen Havoc and No Contact champions do really well against him. Um, yeah, uh, Gladiator Hulk might do some pretty good damage against him with his Face Me, but other than that, yeah, not a difficult... Um, boss to get down and do three times in a row not bad okay so chapter one part two deadpool this is where things get a little bit tricky this requires five stars you cannot use six stars um which i think should be fine for most of the community uh this far left path is the fury path then the feats of power basically they just get more attack i took this as my initial clear um these are all fairly straightforward defenders um as far as exploration on this, I had a hard time with this Annihilus right here, the Stun Immune and Destructive Feedback, because for the first 10 seconds of the fight, it, he doesn't take any damage because of that Destructive Feedback node. And he's so aggressive and unstoppable, it's a little bit of a nightmare. I am glad you only have to fight him once. He wasn't a sub for all four lanes. Uh, but yeah, no, he was a little bit of a frustration. I wish I did that live. Um, you want to see someone bang their head against the wall. I was certainly the man. I almost got the hammer out and with the phone, but I didn't. Um, this also could be a little tricky. This lane here with the improved power gain. Because um, you're fighting uh, Doctor Strange, 
Symbiote Supreme, Mephisto. The two champions that I really uh, struggled with were... Um, I brought Colossus for Havoc. Uh, I don't even remember who I used for Symbiote Supreme. I think it was Void. Uh, but Doctor Strange was a little tough because he just gained power like crazy. And then uh, Vision Arcus is always tough for me. I'm still not used to him. If you're not used to that guy, uh, he's going to gain a lot of power and throw a lot of specials and he could be a potential pain in the butt. But nothing crazy, like I said, except for this Deadpool. This Deadpool is the worst boss out of all of them. Um, this fundamental node here, uh, under a bar of power, he, gain, he takes almost no damage. He gets one bar of power. Um, he has... You will take a ton of damage when you take blocked hits from him. Parries don't really work, and um, especially once he gets to two and three bars of power, it becomes unblockable for his attacks and on. Uh, what else? He also has this mighty charge too, so he's also unstoppable and shrugs off all debuffs. Um, his bleed is really strong, so if you don't have, if you happen to mess up and you're not using a bleed immune champion, consider yourself done. But um, in the community, I have seen people start the fight, play really aggressively, and then heavy chain this guy when he's up against the wall. I am not that good. Uh, so my strategy, I think, could work for any champion. I happen to use Stark Spidey. I played really aggressively at the start of the fight, push him to one bar of power. And then the rest of the fight for me was, um, how do I say this? Space control, right? Uh, yeah. So when he's really close to me with the mighty charge, you're still able to parry because he's not dashing towards you. So um, I would try to keep him as close to me as possible, and that is from uh, holding block as long as I can and doing a shallow dash back. Um, that allows two things, him to stay close to me and him to also want to th trick the AI into wanting to throw a heavy, so heavy baiting. and. Um, once, once he throws a heavy, that gives you a window to go in for a full attack. I did say heavy baiting. Don't tell anybody. Uh, go in for a full five attack, and then you can do some damage. Um, if he does dash back, he likes to, to... This Deadpool, the AI is programmed so that it moves and creates a lot of space in between you two. So you can, he can use his mighty charge node to the fullest. Um, that's okay, that's when I held block. I held off until as soon as he got as close as possible and then I did just a light dash back. You know, I just wanted to close the gap as, as best I could. Uh, anytime I went to intercept, of course, I get wrecked. Um, and I am a man of habit, so I was trying to parry and intercept. Don't do that. It's a little bit frustrating. You have to play it kind of slow. Um, you only have to do this boss four times. Uh, you can just revive, get him to special one at the, the absolute worst. Revive, play aggressive, get him to special one, do some damage. Corvus is a good good op, uh, option for that. Or anybody that doesn't require a ramp up, you should be good to go. Uh, Unit Man I found to be one of the best. Now, as far as bosses go, in all of the rest of this, those two are the hardest. As a matter of fact, those were the two hardest chapters. So if you can explore those 100%, the rest of this is a breeze. I mean, chapter two, uh, part one, is all four-star requirement. Um, it is even more straightforward, um, and the boss being kind of a joke. Uh, if you're at the level of Cavalier, he is definitely a joke. Um, for initial clear, I think I went far left again. Yes, I went far left again. Just because they're all relatively easy defenders, uh, Nick Fury gives people some hard time. If if that's the case, then I think it's far right. Far right was really fun. Far right is a fun path. Like I actually enjoyed it. It's Matador, so whenever they throw a special, you get a bar of power, um, and then you can only do damage with Power Shield. They also have Oscillate, which is <laughs> a pain, but man, it was fun. That this was a this was a great piece of content right there. Um, masochism. If you're used to fighting masochism, like say on map five every day uh, of your life, then you know maybe you want to choose that. It's um, it is not bad. Neither one of these subs are bad. Um, cornered. Matador and Power Shield. I mean, so it's straightforward. Wolverine, more or less. Um, 
He has the node where he's unblockable. All attacks are unblockable while he's regening. I use my uh, four-star Scarlet Witch, which I haven't used in so long. And every time he got a regeneration, I nullified that, removing his unblockable status. And I just basically uh, steamrolled him. Steamrolled him into oblivion. So um, if you don't have a Scarlet Witch, uh, just be ta uh, take in mind that um, he has the picture of health node, so his health can't be blocked or reversed at all. Um, I would go in with a nullified champion, or I'd go with a union champion, because honestly, not bad. This Iron Man, as a quick, quick heads up, if you're not great fighting against Iron Man, come on. Um, be cautious of him. I'd like to take Voodoo against uh, Iron Man, because that poison can take him down, but he has cornered, so be careful. Corvus is a good option. Um, chapter 2. Part two. This um, also very straightforward. I enjoyed this so much, and it took almost no time, no energy. Um, it was nice to use some of my old three stars. At one point, I sold my three stars. Don't ever sell your champions. Um, thankfully, that was about two years ago, so I have since then recovered. But for an initial clear, hmm. Which one did I take? I think I took this bottom path. Burn the Might and Power Alternator, yes. And you can also do this uh, Fury Path. Just don't get hit. Very, very, very straightforward. Um, the only thing tricky as far as 100%, make sure you have uh, an Evade Counter for this. I think that's a Poison, yep, that's fine. And um, another Cornered. Uh, node lane like I said if you're used to clearing uncollected you should be fine this moon knight boss it has the what is it clap back so every time you bleed him you're gonna take the bleed damage as well that's including shock and poison incinerate or and plasma so if you're gonna use damage over time effects against this guy be prepared to take a bunch of that damage back um, the real tricky node is mix master so He's going to evade if you use the same attack twice. So what I did is I parry, medium, light, medium, call it a day. And I just did that until he was done. The other thing is you could bring an evade uh, counter. Like I brought Iceman, honestly, for this fight. And the cold snap would not allow him to evade. So I could parry, medium, light, 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 medium, a regular combo. And um, he couldn't evade because he was under the effects of cold snap. And I got him down super, super quick. That 100% of Chapter 2, Part 1 and 2, uh, cost me no units except for energy refill. Um, and it was very... It was fun. It was fun. It was like the difficulty equivalent of Act 4, to be honest. Um, which is super refreshing. Okay, so Chapter 3, Part 1. Um, for an initial clear... I think it's right here. There's a life transfer node, very simple. And then if that doesn't suit your fancy, how about how about flare? They're both super very 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 quick lanes to clear. Nothing crazy, no specific champions that you need. Um, and then you get all the way to Moon Knight for your initial clear. And every other time you fight him, it's pretty much the same Moon Knight as before except no mix master and um, None of the uh, damage over time effects that you give him will, will be reflected onto you. He just has all of his abilities and a little bit more stun, bleed, and attack. So just don't get hit. And um, I think I used my three-star Wolverine. And who else? Maybe Iceman? You can use anybody. The only thing that you have to watch out for, and this was just frustrating more than difficult. It's not a roadblock. Um, is this lane here dulled and crit me with your best shot you'll only do damage when you do a crit damage and if you have a champion who has buffs for every buff uh, your chance to crit is reduced by half so I use storm and magneto and got this whole lane down in about 10 revives this was the most revives I had spent since chapter 1 um, it was very frustrating. 
The Taskmaster is a nightmare, and I can't never say his name right. Um, but Dormammu is a absolute pain in the butt. I don't think that this was a good fight. I don't think it was interesting. I think it was really just brutally painful. Uh, also, when you get to King Groot, he's going to regen constantly. And since you're mostly doing no damage at all, I mean, how frustrating is it to, to not get any crits in a five-hit combo and have him just continuously regen? And let me tell you, it was, it was very, very, very frustrating. But not a roadblock and not a reason you shouldn't do it. I used Storm. She was my solution. Um, now, for the one star, if I had to place difficulty, Chapter 2 as a whole is so simple, so easy, so straightforward. Chapter 3, as the, uh, the two stars go, very straightforward and easy chapter except for that one path we just talked about and then this one star um section of chapter three is pretty it's pretty difficult it can be pretty difficult a lot of these fights because of the 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 um how do i say it how you're not doing a lot of damage against them it becomes almost like realm of legends fights um and there is actually a roadblock. So for your initial clear, let's talk about that. Um, pick a path. Any of these three at the bottom, I would choose for an initial clear. They're very straightforward. There's nothing that you need to know. Your sub boss uh, is non-existent. You know the other the other three lanes we're going to talk about. Your sub boss is Mordo, and that is, that that we'll get to that in a second. Um, the Moon Knight boss. I, you can use any champion, essentially. I used Wolverine. Uh, Black Panther will also work really well. He has this note, Eco Barrier. Uh, it's 15 charges. Hit him 15 times. He removes all the charges. One charge per fight. It removes an extra charge if you do bleed damage. That's why I chose a bleed champion. And then once, once that's removed, you have uh, a short window to do as much damage as possible and then get him down. Very, very easy fight, very straightforward. Uh, bring a bleed immune champ, or, or bleed damaging champ if you want it to go a little faster, but you can bring whoever you want. And um, yeah, just play regular. Um, play like you would normally would. And that is that. But there is a giant roadblock. Um, you can do the rest of this if you have a one star vision of either kind. I highly recommend against that. I would say uh, you absolutely need a one star Hulk to get to the, the rest of this. Uh, there's this one lane. Uh, nope, not that one. Sorry, folks. Um, this lane right here with the magic on it. Uh, bleed vulnerability and caustic temper. The bleed vulnerability is almost a joke because it you need Hulk for this. Caustic Temper, you take poison damage um, from making contact hits, and you only do regular damage as long as you have a Fury active. Um, the only champion in one-star variety that can successfully do this uh, within reason is Hulk. Vision, you're, you're talking like six to 800 hits per fight, and when you're going up against magic, you will die so many times because of that limbo damage. I mean, it's crazy. You're probably gonna die with the Hulk um, cause that limbo is no joke. Um, but definitely you need a Hulk. And then when it comes to this Mordo, it's not just the one lane. You're going to have to fight this Mordo, uh, mini boss three times. Um, and without a Hulk, I can imagine it was going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, I got very fortunate. I didn't realize that this was going to be such an issue. Uh, almost as a, until it was too late and I had to restart it. And then I realized that, um, as in, I did this top lane, I got to the Mordo, and I realized that there was going to be a serious issue because he also has the Caustic Temper node, and I had to redo that whole path because I I, I, I didn't um, really worry about the, the lanes, but I want you to be very conscious of that. Save yourself some units. And then um, after that, you're done. you're done. That's it. It's very, very straightforward. It is a lot of fun. Chapter two with your three stars and your four stars, man, that was that was great. I wish they did more of that stuff. I wish they gave me a reason to rank up my three stars and my four stars and, and things like that. And this is the first time we've seen a reason for that in a long time. So, good job. Uh, 
I wish they did a beta for this because some of the fights are a little bit ridiculous. Uh, I think all together I was probably under 30 revives from, from the whole thing. Yeah, roughly. Maybe 30 to 40. Um, I, would, I, I, I wouldn't put this very uh, much more difficult than uh, the monthly event quest, maybe with that, uh, the exception of the two boss fights in Chapter 1 and the one lane in Chapter 3, Part 2. Uh, other than that, you know, good luck. Man, the, the rewards are great. Have a good time with it. It took me probably in total five hours, so it was fun. All right, guys, good luck.